Hey Tigers, welcome to our 2024 Multicultural Assembly. Today you'll be hearing about some different cultures from stadium staff, students, and clubs. We hope you enjoy. Hello, my name is Mo, but I normally go by Bear Paw, and we are part of the Indigenous Student Group. My name is Levi. I've been to the club a couple meets, and um, it's a very interesting club and very educational. And I hope um, if you're interested, please do come. All right, we are going to read you the land acknowledgments. Today, the Acoma Public Schools acknowledge that we are on traditional, ancestral, and historical lands of the Puyallup Tribe of Indians. We honor with gratitude the land itself and the Puyallup Tribe. This acknowledgement serves as a first step in honoring our nearest tribal neighbors and partners who have inhabited this region since time immemorial and whom we give thanks for allowing us passage to their lands. We shall intentionally create inclusive and respectful partnerships that honor indigenous cultures, history, identities, and socio-political realities. Hi, I'm Mrs. Junderson. I am your career guidance specialist and I advise the Indigenous Student Group Club at Stadium. We meet every other Wednesday in the Career Center, and this is a club for students who identify as Native, Indigenous, or want to learn more about those folks and partner and have community together. In the past, we have partnered with Black Student Union for a cookout. Uh, we have had a singer come in for a guest uh, performance. We have had robust conversations about identity for Native and Indigenous students, and we're just a place for community, and all are always welcome, so please come check it out sometime. We would love to have you. Hi, my name is Caleb, and I'm the president here at Stadium for the French Culture Club. And my name is Madeline, and I'm the activities coordinator at French Culture Club. This year we've had a couple projects that we've been doing. Our biggest one is going to be the garden that we've had planned. We planted it in the fall and in the spring we hope to enjoy some good flowers. Um, we meet every Monday in room 201 with Miss Evans. Um, we talk about French culture, French cultural differences, we eat French snacks, and we try to speak as much French as we can. So if you're interested, you should come and visit us. Um, my name is Roberto. Uh, I'm from Italy. Uh, in Italia, I play pallacanestro, which means that in Italy, I play basketball. Ciao, mi chiamo Pietro. Vengo dall'Italia e gioco a calcio. Hi, I'm Pietro. I'm from Italy and play soccer. My name is Mo Herrera. I was born in North Carolina. Came to Tacoma. I want to say 2015, maybe. And ever since 2015, Tacoma has been the best day ever, baby. Let's go. Mio nome è Giuliano. Io gosto di giocare a bola. I said that my name is Juliana and I like to play soccer. Hi, I'm Dari, I'm from Spain. Uh, Juan Waterpolo, I play water ball. Hello, my name is Clemens, I'm from Germany. Ich gehe schwimmen, spiele tennis. That means I go swimming and I play tennis. So my name is Orico and mi piace la pasta. And in English it's just, I like pasta. It's my favorite food. Hi, my name is Tijad, Isman Tijades. Hi, I'm Letizia, I'm from Italy and um, mi piace giocare a basket e mi piace mangiare la pizza. And in, it, in English it means that uh, I used to play basketball and um, I like pizza. Hello everyone, my name is Anne, I'm a senior and I'm from Vietnam. One sentence I want to sh like say to you guys is Chúc mừng năm mới tất cả mọi người và nếu mọi người có dịp đến Việt Nam thì hãy thử cảm ăn đường phố Việt Nam như là phở hoặc là bánh mì which means like Happy Lunar New Year everyone and if you guys have a chance to visit Vietnam please try out like street food like pho or bánh mì yeah I am Doña Blanca uh, also known as uh, Mrs Norton I am one of your Spanish teachers here at Stadium High School I am from Panama Central America and uh, Panama has several traditions and actually we just talked about the biggest one which is carnival it is four days before Ash Wednesday, which was yesterday. And basically the country uh, pretty much shuts down for four days just to go and have a time to celebrate and be joyful before a period of what is called Lent, which is a religious holiday during which people are, they give up something for 40 days or they're very uh, penitential or, uh, or just, you know, calm. Uh, so prior to that, everybody does Carnival, which is a lot of fun. Uh, that's one of the biggest traditions that we have. 
So uh, Panama is associated with a particular festive outfit that women do wear, and we don't wear it all the time. This is not like Encanto, uh, but for special national holidays and events, uh, like our independence, one of our independence days, for carnival, uh, big national parties, many women will actually uh, don and wear what is called a pollera. And a pollera is a typical embroidered dress. A woman will wear their hair up with lots of pins all over their head. Some of them may have a little crown. And it's just something that Panamanians are very proud of. It's their uh, traditional pollera outfit. And this is just a set of uh, little paintings that I have of them because I always thought that they were very pretty and I, and I like them. Uh, yeah. Hi, my name is Kyung Sun Cho. I'm a Korean language teacher at a stadium. Uh, even though I have taught Korean for eight years, this is my first year teaching here. Uh, I was born and raised in Seoul, South Korea. So I would like to introduce my culture. And uh, first, I want to show this hanbo. It's Korean costume. Okay. South Korea is well known as a collectivist society deeply rooted in Confucianism. Koreans value harmony and relationships more than independence and individuality, as well as respect for elders and authority. Special rites are performed to honor our ancestors on death anniversaries and on major holidays. Two of the most important holidays in Korea are Seollal, which is Lunar New Year, and Chuseok, Korean Thanksgiving Day. Another thing I want to say about is Korea's remarkable education system. It is constantly ranked among the best in the world. Students spend up to 16 hours per day in school. Korea is all about education. South Korea has made one of the most impressive economic leaps in the world. When I was born, South Korea was a very poor country. With the hard work of the last few generations, this changed rapidly. In a few decades, South Korea has become one of the world's wealthiest nations. And food is so important culturally and socially in Korea. The act of sharing food is deeply rooted in Korean customs. Offering and accepting food is a way to show care and respect for others. Uh, many Korean foods are spicy because we use garlic and red pepper powder, along with gochujang, which is red pepper paste. And we also use a lot of fermented foods. And we use a wide range of vegetables from seaweeds to ferns. So I think that's about it about the food. And thank you so much. Hey, bonjour. Hello, everyone. I'm Monsieur Wallet. I'm a French teacher here at Stadium. This is my first year. As you can see, this is the flag of France, but I'm not from there, actually. I'm, I'm a French Canadian. I'm from Montreal. Um, I moved here ten, just over 10 years ago. I have a couple kids and cool traditions about Quebec, a couple that crossed my mind. At this time of the year, actually, when you know days are still, uh, nights are still below freezing, but days are starting to be above freezing, you have the sugaring of time. So that's a, a time of the year where the uh, sugar maple sap can be extracted. And, and then we have sugar shacks, which are simple shacks in the countryside in ma maple tree groves, uh, very festive. Um, so that's a family gathering with very simple but heavy meals to uh, eat. And it only lasts anywhere between four and six weeks. By the way, Quebec produces 75% of the world syrup in the world. So that makes sense, there's a tradition there. The other cool tradition when I was growing up and you know, raising my kids there at, at first was, uh, like Washington State, you know, Quebec is famous for its apple, and around Montreal there's a, you know, a bunch of uh, apple orchards. So you'll go there with, uh, <clears throat> with tractors carrying you know, families uh, to the apple orchards, and you'll spend you know, the day, usually 
late September, early October, but that's, that's a big family tradition as well. sa lahat ng nanonood. Good day to everyone watching. Ako po si Levi McCurman. My name is Levi McCurman. I come from the Philippines and came to the United States of America about three years ago. I was born in the Philippines and I'm proud to be Filipino. I'm also proud to be in the US, the greatest country of our time, where I can make a greater difference in the world. Stadium High School is a fantastic school and I have felt welcomed into school since day one. I hope you learned things from me today. Tarana at matuto. Let's go and learn. The Philippines has about 7,600 plus islands. It is divided into three major islands or island groups. They are Luzon, the far north, Visayas, the middle islands, and Mindanao, the far south. Furthermore, the national language of the Philippines is Filipino, which is based on Tagalog. However, it is worth noting that there are over a hundred dialects spoken in the Philippines, reflecting the linguistic diversity of our country. There are also about a hundred plus indigenous groups or tribes in the Philippines. I come from the Bisaya tribe who migrated into the south, Mindanao. The Bisaya people originated from the Visayas. From what I was taught my entire life, Filipinos have a strong passion for independence. Our modern language and culture are heavily influenced by those who have colonized us. The Philippines experienced 300 or more years of Spanish colonization, 48 years of U.S. colonization, three years of Japanese colonization, and other much earlier colonizations by different neighboring countries and or people. Eventually, the Philippines achieved a stable government and the U.S. finally granted the Filipinos their independence after 48 years of American colonization. To this day, English is the second official language of the Philippines, and Filipino consists a lot of Spanish-derived words, if not containing the same exact Spanish words. We still continue to follow the ways and teachings of our pre-colonial ancestors while having adapted other foreign elements. 
many brave Filipinos died fighting for the establishment of an independent Filipino Republic. Blood was spilled from centuries of fighting to achieve this independence, and one of the ways we honor all the sacrifices and souls who have fought for the cause is the color red found in our national flag, which reminds us of our losses and successes. To this very moment, we continue to fight to preserve our independence, the right of our own people to govern themselves, and we do this with the help of the United States of America. Dr. Jose Potasio Rizal Mercado y Alonso Rialonda, commonly known as Jose Rizal, was a Filipino nationalist, writer, and polymath. He is considered one of the greatest heroes of the Philippines and is our national hero of the Philippines. He fought for the Filipino independence with paper and pen rather than with bayonets and machetes like other Filipino heroes. He once said, Ang hindi marunong Lumingon sa pinanggalingan ay hindi makakarating sa paroroonan, which translate to, He who does not know how to look back at where he came from will never get to his destination. This quote is very dear to me because as a proud Filipino, I will always carry with me the values from where I came from, while also being open to embracing my U.S. citizenship in the future. The Philippines and the U.S. have always had a good relationship with each other. And it is an honor to experience both Filipino and American cultures. Marami salamat sa pakikinig at hanggang sa muli. Thank you so much for listening and until next time. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you to everyone who participated. If this interested you, please be on the lookout for next year's Multicultural Assembly.